Hi, welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. I'm Sal Mercagliano, your host. So I'm hearing reports, disturbing reports, about allegations of sexual harassment and assault on board U.S. flagged merchant vessels. This is unfortunately not a new story in the maritime industry. A few years ago, 2016, there were allegations of sexual assault and harassment that led to the canceling of what was called the Sea Year at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. The U.S. Merchant Marine Academy is one of five federal academies, uh, Kings Point, uh, Kings Point, then there's the West Point, there's Annapolis for the Navy, in London for the Coast Guard, Colorado Springs for the Air Force. In the case of the Merchant Marine Academy at Kings Point, their students go out and do what they call the Sea Year on board U.S. flagged merchant vessels. And in 2016, there were the reports of this, sexual assault and harassment. This is the statement that was released by the Merchant Marine Academy. The Department of Transportation, Maritime Administration, U.S. Merchant Marine Academy have made consistent efforts to address sexual assault and sexual harassment on campus over the last few years. We've grappled with the appropriate means of extending these efforts during the sea year when the midshipmen are off campus training on U.S. merchant vessels. The safety of these young women and men are our highest priority and the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy is standing down having midshipmen serve on these vessels until it's assured that their training will be carried out in a safe environment. This in turn led to a alumni from the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy launching a task force to combat sexual misconduct and eventually the reinstatement of the sea year and cadets going back out to sea. A few days ago, this story came out on Legal Aid, uh, Maritime Legal Aid, which is an Instagram account. And this Instagram account wrote the following here that is, is disturbing to say the least. There are more than 50 young, strong, amazing women in my class at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy where I am currently in my senior first class year. I've not spoken to a single one of these women who have told me that she has not been sexually harassed, sexually assaulted, or degraded at some point during the last three years of the academy or during C year. Most people, even the leaders of our school, do not seem to understand how serious this problem is, especially at C. This was two days ago. This came out and Maritime Legal Aid, this Instagram account has the full statement here and I'll link it over to the show notes for you to take a look at. This allegation is serious and it needs to be looked at. The word I'm hearing right now is that this has been brought to the highest levels in the Department of Transportation, in the U.S. Maritime Administration, and the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. Uh, one of the leaders in this area, advocates for women at sea, is Ali Sedino, the head of Women Offshore, a, a fantastic woman who runs an organization that is absolutely stellar. Uh, Ali is on the board of the Merchant Marine Academy, she started women offshore. She has worked on rigs offshore. Just got an MBA at Rice. Just a fantastic person. And she runs a yearly conference advocating women in the, in the maritime industry. Just a huge advocate for them. And it's my understanding that she is, is, is really advocating this issue up the chain. And I can't think of anybody better. I really can't. I, I've, I've known Allie for a long time now. And I think there's no one in the maritime industry who's a better advocate for women in the industry than she is. And so I'm, I'm, I am hoping, I am hoping that this is not true and, 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 and this is not an issue, but unfortunately I think it is. And I'm not gonna be surprised if we don't hear an announcement come out from the maritime administration, curtailing, investigating, and, and potentially even ending sea year this year for those king's pointers that are out at sea right now because that allegation on maritime legal aid on the instagram account is is damning to say the least and i know if if as if that was my wife if that was my daughter if that was i don't even care to tell you the truth if, if even i don't know any of them and it bothers me just knowing that and i think we need to do something to find out what's going on here so that's looming on the horizon here. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I have to take this video down because Sal jumped the gun and he's completely wrong, but I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm wrong. So we'll wait and see. So on, on another cheery episode of what's going on with shipping, Sal signing off.